The following is our presentation for in-office needle arthroscopy for ATFL reconstruction with suture tape augmentation. Advantages of the technique include rapid postoperative recovery, minimal scarring, and limited wound complications. Disadvantages include a potentially long learning curve and the obligatory use of a zero-degree scope. Surface markings include the anterior joint line, the superficial perineal nerve, if visible, and planned portal sites. The anteromedial portal is placed lateral to the medial malleolus and medial to the tibialis anterior tendon. The anterolateral portal is then made under direct visualization, medial to the lateral malleolus and lateral to the EDC and perineus tertius tendons. A third portal is used for this technique, the distal anterolateral portal, is made approximately one centimeter anterior to the tip of the distal fibula under direct visualization, as can be seen here. Viewing from the anterolateral portal, we can see the lateral gutter with the tibia, fibula, and talus. Initial debridement is performed with a shaver to improve visualization. The distal accessory band of the AI TFL is visualized next, which is then resected to improve visualization. It is critical not to resect too proximally, which could potentiate instability. The remnant beset ligament is debrided and the anatomic footprint of the talus is prepared. Next we see the ATFL and its insertion onto the talus. For the sake of the demonstration, the native ATFL is transected with an arthroscopic scissor and the area further debrided with a shaver. The talus is then denuded of cartilage at the anatomic insertion site until subchondral bone is reached, which helps improve healing. Next, a guide pin is placed at the tailor insertion. It is then over drilled to receive the suture anchor. The suture anchor is then seated into place in the talus. The anchor is then malleted until the threads engage the subchondral bone. After insertion, the suture tape can be appreciated here. Next we move to the fibula, seen here with overlying periosteum. The anchor site is prepared in a similar fashion as the talus. Again, it is important to create a clean bed of subchondral bone. Another guide pin is placed, which is then again over drilled in preparation for the anchor. The drill is advanced until the black laser line reaches bone. A knotless suture anchor is placed with the suture tape into the prepared fibular site. Importantly, the construct should be tensioned appropriately during insertion. While it should be tight to restore stability, one should avoid over-tightening, which may restrict motion. The tension is assessed with a probe, and the excess suture tape is then cut. Pearls of the technique include using anesthetic mixed with epinephrine to limit bleeding and tensioning the construct with the patient's foot in about 30 degrees of plantar flexion to avoid over-tightening. Pitfalls include negligent distal anterolateral portal placement, which may damage the sural nerve, and over-tightening the suture tape, which may restrict motion.